Minglawa. This is the weekly highlight news of radio and UG. I'm James. Here are the news highlights for this week. The executive aura 1 2023 issued on 1st of June by the 18th president of the National Unity Government, His Excellency Duala Chila. The Union Prime Minister Manwin Kaindan made remarks at the NUG government's interim local public administration development central committee meeting. Union ministers Dauda Zowisu and Utin Liao discussed Myanmar affairs and the education sector at the University of San Francisco in California and other interesting news. These are the weekly news details. The executive order 1 2023 issued on 1st of June by the 18th President of the National Unity Government, His Excellency Dua Lachila. It is stated that, in accordance with the Federal Democracy Chapter Part 2, Interim Constitutional Arrangements, Chapter 4, Section 25, Subsection B and C, the National Unity Government of the Republic of the Union of Myanmar has issued an aura that has legal effect. When the terrorist military took over the state power on the 1st of February 2021, the Panki Sata was among the most damaged. Since February 2021, all the banks controlled by the Central Bank of the terrorist military have added the determination of the terrorist military without looking at the interests of the depositor, which the bank is supposed to protest and the people are suffering losses. Moreover, Myanmar's public foreign exchange reserves are also being used to purchase weapons and weapon manufacturing materials, including jet fuel used in terrorist attacks. Additionally, to remedy the losses of the people in a timely manner, to regulate and correct Myanmar's banking sector effectively, and to prevent the use of the public foreign reserves for the terrorist purposes, the cabinet of the Union Government of the National Unity Government has empowered the Ministry of Finance and Investment as the interim central bank to perform its regulatory duties. According to the empowerment, the Union Minister of the Ministry of Finance and Investment will take joint responsibility as the interim central bank chairman to implement the tax to be carried out as the central bank, such as international and regional central banks, banks and financial institutions, as well as organizations requesting business license and verifying companies. The NUG government's interim local public administration development central committee meeting was set on 1st of June. At the meeting, Union Prime Minister of the National Unity Government Manwin Kainten said that the NUG control areas have increased and that NUG has established the public administration bodies in more than 170 townships since the revolution began. In addition, the Union Prime Minister said that NUG officials were appointed and they are working in an integrated manner. Additionally, he encouraged them to organize in a systematic manner and exchange information between ministries. Moreover, the Union Prime Minister reiterated that since the revolution has been ongoing for a long time, it is important to understand our public support and to ensure that the funds are not wasted and used effectively and systematically. The meeting was attended by Union Ministers, Deputy Ministers, Permanent Secretaries and Department officials. Union Minister Dr. Soweso of the National Unity Government was officially recognized and honored by the United States Senate of California. The representative of the National Unity Government, Union Minister and Delegates visited the California Senate too on 25th of May. The California Senate extended a warm welcome to Dr. Zoweso, Union Minister of the Ministry of Health and Education. He leads the Democratic Movement. He was democratically elected of the National Unity Government. The Union Minister also met with Senator Benjamin J. Allen and they discussed about the Myanmar-related affairs. The Ministry of Information and Technology released a statement on 27 of May regarding the official visit of the Union Ministers from National Unity Government to United States. 
Union ministers Dada Zoisu and Utenlea arrived at the University of San Francisco in California, USA on 23rd of May. The Union minister had a meeting with the professors from the Department of Education and other professors in the university and they discussed concerning on the Myanmar youth and their future education during the crisis and conflict caused by the military coup in Myanmar. They also discussed cooperation in the technology sector as far as how to further short-term and long-term plans after the revolution. According to the report from the KLG Jiaolongji Brigade on 29 of May, more than 100 elephant heading families in CDM in Kani Township of Sagai region are facing difficulties in their livelihood. It is quite challenging for the 103 families of elephant heads as part of the CDM who are preserving 36 elephants is very difficult. They want to keep the elephants as they are now, but because it is difficult for them to support themselves, they are considering keeping the elephant in the jungle until they run out of options. So, 21, 22, 23rd battalions of the Yemebin district are able to assist and support the heading families that are defending the elephants. These are the weekly highlight news of radio and YouTube. We will present more interesting weekly local news to you. Thanks for joining our news.